Hello everyone, today in this video I will demonstrate how to create random structure for a multi-component system or high entropy alloys. For demonstration purposes, I will follow this paper and reproduce their results. So this is high entropy alloy material which contains 6 elements in equimolar composition and we know it for maximum entropy, it exists for high entropy alloys. There are many methods to generate random structure. Uh, short range or the Warren Cowley method, Slay methods, but for demonstration purposes, I will use MCSQS approach, which is implemented in the attached code. So you can you can visit this website and read the paper how they have implemented this paper and the mathematics behind it which exists which correlates the objective correlation of the SQS cell with the random alloys and try to minimize the objective function. In the paper you can see this gamma is the, the point correlation function and the implementation of the algorithm and Q over here is the objective function which minimizes the correlation between our cell with the random cell. And the rest of the details you can read by yourself. So to get started we will go first to HTML and go to MC SQS approach. This is the man page where you can find the details. So we will need the input file over here. It is given input file. These are the Cartesian coordinates and these are the letters vector and these are the atoms and the corresponding composition of the material. And over here command line. So we have Monte Carlo generator for special consigned random structure. So these are the details where dash n stands for number of atoms per unit cell dash 2, dash 3 or dash 4 these are pair, triplet and quadruplets around a given atom uh, which we need to generate the cluster expansion and minimize the, the point correlation function so as to mimic the perfect infinite random alloy so to get started with I will follow this paper and reproduce their results. The details are given in the supplementary paper. So this is the executable file. First we need the input file. As we saw earlier, these are the Cartesian component you can specify like in WASP format or in this way. These are the Cartesian coordinates or the orthogonal space. The rest three are the lattice vectors, which are the primitive vectors. It's best to use the primitive vectors because SQS will explore whole space containing multiples of this one. And for FCC, we have one atom with this composition, equimolar. So we have tried to do this way. Next, we will run the code to generate the clusters. For FCC, we have 12 coordinations as you can see over here. For BCC8, the nearest neighbor is 0. Point, at a distance of 0 0.70. Core dump invokes the MCS command and generate the cluster. It will read the random structure file, which I have named over here random structure. And when generating, we need to include pair, triplets, and quadruplets. So let's go ahead and generate the file. For pair, I have included the distance of 1.14 for triplets and tri quadruple 1. So for good approximation, we should include more shells and more. We can view the clusters file. For the sake of simplicity, 2 stand for pairs and the nearest neighbor. And these are the coordinates, the symmetric coordinates. The nearest neighbor, how many? It detected 6, 12. The next one, 12 which we have over here 612 
Now to reproduce the SQS cell we will use their approach. So to generate the MCS cell type MCSQS you need to install the code before using it. And minus N stand for the number of atoms. In their paper in the supplementary information they have provided 108 atoms. So we will just type and the code will start the calculation and reproduce uh, produce the SQS cell. So we have to wait from here. To get quality results, we need to run the code for many days. So we can minimize the objective function as much as possible. The details you can find on the description box, I will provide it later. These are the for FCC and SCP structure. You can view this how they are packed, what are the nearest distance, primitive cell, the coordination number, which is very trivial. So now it's generated this QSL. So the, how many cells it have generated? 2010. These are the latest vector. For DFT calculation, it is best to use equal, equal length because of the sampling in the brilliant space in the k space so i will just stop this code now you can write your own script to generate equal length but for sake of purposes i know that in their paper they have used the length of lattice 300 in the x direction this is in the y direction 3 so this is a cell which comprise of 3 by 3 by 3 so these are the multiples of the primitive vector over here 3 times 4 now I will go ahead now we are forcing the system to accept forcing the MCS MCSQS code to or I read this SQS cell and open and generate the atoms within this cell. So there is a command MCS MCSQS RC and just generate. Press enter. Now it will read this file. Now over here you will see that best correlation function and the corresponding best sqs so for the correlation you can see as we expected two stands for the pairs the nearest distance and this third column stand for the point correlation function of the given cell i will stop the code over here it, for quality purposes we need to run for many days or months to get the quality results but it depends on the problem so the third column over here stand for the correlation function and fourth one stand for the perfect random alloy which by definition of covariance is zero and the fifth column over here is this is the difference between third and fourth so for two the nearest distance one how many pairs so now for three triplets it includes two shells nearest shells for quadruplets we have two again it shows that fcc is a densely packed system and lastly we have the objective function which shows which compares the quality of your sqs cell over here you can see we have objective function with this value and for the un and the other generation of M C S Q S L we have much more negative value it's best to choose the much more negative value which will uh, entail that the quality of your sqs is nice next it also generates best sqs cell which again over here three is the cartesian coordinates the rest are the lattice vector and these are the cart the coordinates 
so you can go ahead and convert this file to postcard file um, this is also given in my github page where i have implemented this python code how to gen convert this file to postcard wasp file and that's it for this tutorial